What are martial arts? Where can they be found? Are they, as portrayed in novels and movies, full of blood, fire, and blazing hatred and vengeance? Most people might have pictured in their minds invincible martial arts masters, dwelling in secluded mountains and practicing mysterious kung fu skills. Once they strike, the sky and earth shudder. Is it all simply romantic fantasy? In this digital, big data-oriented era, everything seems transparent. Do the martial arts masters of legend exist in the modern age? Where? And what are their secrets? It seems impossible to meet such a figure. But the crew do hear of a folk martial arts practitioner, one who has lived through the ups and downs of martial arts over the past 40 years. He is unwilling to meet, however, saying that he has long withdrawn from the scene. After repeated requests and being reassured of the crew's good intentions, he finally agrees to meet by the bank of the Grand Canal in the Beijing district of Tongzhou. Zhang Yonchuan practiced martial arts from a young age. In the 1980s, he edited martial arts magazines and took part in the national exploration and systemization of martial arts in Hubei province. As the internet took off, he set up websites on martial arts he has a deep understanding of traditional Chinese martial arts and its practitioners. Uh, Mai 有些人本身就是武术的传承人。嗯。啊,家族传承。家传的。有些人呢,是出于主观的,就自己喜欢。嗯。出于健身啊,也好啊,不同的目的,接触。还有一些呢,可能就阴差阳错。嗯。机缘
一拆，这人都全全没了。以前跟我练的人多了，现在这一拆一拆，人没地儿待了，这这人就上哪儿去都有，全国各地就分散了就。回老家的，回老家，上别地儿发展，上别地儿发展，这也没办法呀，没办法是吧？Liu Baolong takes a day off his driving job to help the crew. He lives in a rented apartment in southeastern Beijing. The narrow alleys and messy wires look like Pigsty Alley from the movie Kung Fu Hustle, where hidden martial arts masters dwelled. It is hard to believe that it is just 10 kilometers from the sleek modern towers of Beijing's central business district. 来慢点，黄导。这个穿过这个沟，就是天天我活动练功的地儿了。Twenty years ago, Liu Baolong, then new to Beijing, started learning Ba Ji Chun from Wang Shusim, the seventh-generation inheritor of Meng Chun Ba Ji Chun. After that, the spot became the haven for Liu's martial arts training. 大家好，来，我给各位介绍一下，这是呢那个黄导。Before the formal performance, Liu Baolong demonstrates the basics of Ba Ji Chun. 这么靠的话，要需要这儿要有保护的动作。您能给我展示一下吗？可以，来，我给你看，是吧？就这一块肌肉，你看我一抱这个劲儿，它这儿就有了。您放松，我看看，放松，哎，就没有了，摸它没有了，开始软了。然后一抱这个劲儿，哎，这这有一条，对，这一条，这我们明显没就没有没有这个，就跟那个，就跟那个呃，这个倒三角似的。Among traditional martial arts schools, Ba Ji Chun is famous for its efficacy in a real fight. For over a century, many of Emperor's palace guards and figures in the military were its practitioners. The primary characteristic associated with Ba Ji Chun is its fierceness. But what Liu Baolong demonstrates is of a different style, which would seem to be at odds with this reputation. This动员只要练的那个动员队，他能出功夫。练好了绝对能防身。咱说上台那个跟现在这个散打搏击，咱不是专业的业余的。你要说跟那个没练过的，你就三两的，你真不行。这个东西，哎，就这个，感觉，你
就这两年就走了好多，有的回家了，有的上别地儿了，这个地儿这房说不好几年呢，一拆也没准就跑哪儿去了呢。The weekend brings time for a family reunion. His daughter, who works in insurance sales, has come home, and his wife, who works in a supermarket, has prepared a splendid meal. This is the highlight of the week for this migrant family in Beijing. <laughs> Liu Baolong has taught Ba Ji Chun to many people in recent years. His students came and left, and few can stick with it to the end. As the development of Beijing suburbs continues, where this martial arts master will finally be able to settle remains an open question. The crew leave Beijing for Shi Jiazhuang, capital of Hebei province, the hometown of Zhao Yun, a famous general of the Three Kingdoms period in the 3rd century AD. The crew have repeatedly been told by experts that the spear was the most powerful and commonly used weapon in the ancient military. Are there still people who practice classical military spear skills? The 48-year-old Wang Dong is chief physician of gastroenterology in the fourth hospital of Hebei Medical University. He is preparing for an operation to remove a large tumor. The procedure is due to take about four hours. The crew will have to wait. Early in the afternoon, the crew follow Wang Dong to the hospital's rooftop. Taking off his white coat, Wang Dong, like a magician, produces a three-meter-long spear. Wang Dong's spear skills are unadorned, straightforward, and neat. In classical martial arts, the fist skills and weapon skills are inseparable, supplementing each other. After finishing his day's work, Wang Dong usually goes to a club for more training. Is a 
，你必须在每一个工作里都要以搏击的精神去克服困难。病人的病情一环扣一环，你会觉得这个敌人很强大，很强大。你必须去想这块铁板缝在哪儿，这个敌人的缺陷在哪儿，我想尽了办法去解决它。这样带来的一种喜悦感，带来成功感，给病人带来的一一些个这个帮助，那是非常好的。Combat training for Dr. Wang Dong is more than just a martial arts practice. Combat training has not died out in folk culture. Its practitioners, like Yang Minghua, come from every walk of life. Yang still does spear combat training in his home city of Xi'an. Xi'an is located on the side of the city that was China's imperial capital for the best part of 1,000 years. Anchoring one end of the Silk Road, it is an impressive city, and it has a long history of martial arts. The city's famous bell tower is where the crew find Yang Minghua. Hey, hello. 行，好吧，我要不等路边等你啊。你在路边等我，我在这儿把这儿前面刚才报事故，我我堵点，我去疏通一下。啊啊啊！行，那这么着，哎，好，再见。Yang Minghua, 43 years old, is an officer of Xi'an's Lianhu District Traffic Police Station. After his day's work, Yang Minghua takes off his uniform and takes the crew to see his master, Yang Bin. 我师傅杨斌，你好，你好，哎呦，你好，你好，你好，坐，那咱坐，边坐边聊，啊，师傅，等你把饭吃了吗？吃着吃着。哎呀，谁给你做的？让我老张给做的。Young Bean is the representative inheritor of the Shanxi Hongqun, meaning Red Fist, a national intangible cultural heritage, and Yang Minghua's uncle. Young Bean is in his 80s and suffered a stroke two years ago. The martial arts club he has been running for years is on the verge of shutting down. Seeing his uncle's lifelong work in peril, Young Ming Hua decides to take over running the club. Coming here is also because it's cheaper. It's a little expensive. 谢谢总监。Over the past few years, the club has relocated several times. Its activities have been severely limited. After its last location was demolished, it had to move to the suburbs. Due to this remote location, they've become the only tenant in the building for the time being, and everything is still to be finished. Although not able to teach martial arts in person, as long as his health permits, Yang Bin comes to watch the kids training at the club. Here, Yang Ming Hua prepares a special chair for his revered master. My master is very strong, very strong. 
，你知道有一个地方有很多孩子们练着你的东西。”我说：“我如果有能力，我就租房；我如果没有能力，那我就在广场上。在广场上，那我我没有费用，我也不需要收大家费用。”不要停车。The class is over. The old master raises himself from the chair and gives Yang Minghua a few more skills with the spear. Yang Minghua has been devoted to learning Liu He Spear, also known as Six Harmony Spear, since his youth. The core principles of this ancient weapon are block, snatch, and thrust. The real ancient battlefield left no opportunity for showy skills. The most practical skills were the simplest. Survival on the battlefield depended on strength, speed, and accuracy. As the era of cold weapons ended, the spear was abandoned by the military. In folk culture, Few were willing to pick it up due to the arduous training and lack of spectacle. Many martial arts practitioners haven't even seen its real skills. Wushu 保留它，保留它的原汁原味。就是外面训练咋样？可以，还好是。有点乱。我乱七八糟。哎，但是浩哥，新娃们才来，平常也练练的时候，都这又是又我又是，今天又又是来客人。嗯。啊，这重的，嗯，重的一点是，哎，还有娃们学，嗯，要多还有个少。With his master returning home, young Minghua gets assigned to a night patrol. The illuminated bell tower with the bustling city life all around makes it hard to credit that such traditional fighting skills still exist here today. 其实要说收获最大的就是性格上的，因为身体上的你可以通过很多分种方式来达到一这么一个良好的状态。我以前是一个很懦弱的一个人，锻炼了以后身体好，首先第一个就是有自信，啊，我有跟你平等对话的权利，我有让你好好跟我好好说话的这种能力。In classical martial arts, there are long weapons like the staff and spear, and short weapons like the various types of sword. Again, following expert advice, the crew find a short weapon practitioner in Shi Chou of Anhui Province. Liu Du Sen 
is a 36-year-old PE instructor at Shizhou <laughs> University. He teaches basketball, volleyball, track and field, and so on. In his spare time, his real interest is in training with short weapons. He has set up an amateur training group. In full contact combat sports, it is easy to get injured in training, so protective equipment is essential. Liu Dua Sin demonstrates the skills for short weapons. Short weaponry is sometimes mistaken for Western fencing or Japanese kendo. In fact, it can be traced back to the sword fighting of ancient China. In 1928, it was officially listed in the National Martial Arts Competition. It combines the features of a variety of Chinese short weapons, making it distinct from Western fencing. Unlike many martial arts stunts, it is focused on attacking and defending, demanding dexterity, speed, and fast reactions. Shu 必然会激发这种勇往之前、永不服输的这种精神。After training, the combatants retreat to a restaurant for cool beer, kebabs, and hearty conversation. The company inspires vigor, youthful energy, and heroic ideals, while talk flows as freely as the beer. As the ancient martial arts move into folk practice, various schools developed. Xing Yi Chun, literally meaning shape will fist, is one such, famous for its efficacy in real fighting. One online video shows a Xing Yi Chun master defeating a San Da fighter. At the moment, the belief in the efficacy of traditional martial arts is being questioned. The crew want to know more about that warrior. 你好,你好。It's hard to see this old man on an electric scooter as the victor in the ring who so quickly subdued his opponent. It's been a dozen years since. And does he still wield the same power? Yu Chuen Hai avers that Xing Yi Chuen is derived from spear skills. Wu Xing Chuen, also known as Five Elements Fist, where Xing Yi Chuen developed from, is composed of thrusting, striking, parrying, charging, and sweeping. 
the traces of ancient spear skills can be clearly detected.你看你看了你看这打我打你过来你看我摔一把拿红布刀来我吗明白吗摔拿打放轻枪都行还有摔你看我拉倒你看他来你看倒这直接都非常难受就是抓着都被逮着啊就摁着你就打你根本翻翻
，简直我特别开心。我也希望能多传授他们点东西，让他们真正懂得什么叫中国的传统武术，因为他们走的面积比较大呀，他遍布全国各地，而且他们都是老师们呢。我这些徒弟遍布全国的各个地方，他们这些东西没学到，那个东西没学，我得想方设法，得联系他们两个人联。既然严师傅了、白师了，咱都得尽到做师傅的义务、的责任，给他们教好了。Yu Junhai believes that a master needs to both set a good example for students and give all he has without reservation. Before the Chinese New Year, he will go to Shenzhen to see his students there. From Master Li Jun Yi to the visiting professor Yu Chuan Hai, despite all the changes in the world, the faith and spirit of martial arts have never disappeared. Traditional martial arts have been remolded after becoming part of popular folk culture. What does this mean to practitioners? With this question in mind, the cruise odyssey next takes them to Xianyang in Shanxi province. Shu Guan Ming, 66 years old, is the inheritor of Hong Chun. Shi Guan Ming has been practicing Hong Chuan since he was young and is still an avid fan. In the 1990s, he sold the family tractor to raise the tuition fee for his studies at Wuhan Sports University in Hubei province, where he majored in martial arts for two years. Hong Chuan is in Shanxi. Because Shanxi people have a lot of green. Green is the last thing. It's the highest thing. So this name is called Hong Chuan. 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 On graduating, Shi Guan Ming was hoping to teach martial arts back in his home village, but China's breakneck urbanization dictated otherwise. Most young people left their villages for better job opportunities in the cities. Now, only a few old friends are learning martial arts with him. They practice for exercise and for fun. Accelerating urbanization has seen the field in front of his house disappear. To make up for this, Xu Guanming 
has reclaimed a small patch next to the thoroughfare. For a former farmer, this tiny garden is far too small. Similarly, the realm for martial arts is getting narrower and more constricted every day. After dinner, before going to the village committee, Xu Guanming practices martial arts for a while. To the mournful ballads of Qin Chuang opera, he fights imaginary opponents. He says it is the high point of his day. With the rapid changes in society, the social function of martial arts has also completely changed. Nowadays, it's commonly seen as aging, grassroot, and marginalized. Xu Guanming's problem may be a common one among those inheritors of traditional folk martial arts. Far from Xu Guanming, in the economically dynamic Guangdong province, a southern martial arts practitioner is trying to find a new way for traditional martial arts. Lu Yanming, 58 years old, is an inheritor of Wing Chun, a traditional fist style in southern China, as well as being chairman of a local listed company. Every day, he gets to the office one hour earlier than his employees to make time for his morning training. It's a long-standing routine. Because 換成為團隊的凝聚力,變成團隊精神。大家都付出,不計較回報。Lu Yan Ming works until evening and then demonstrates the other facet of his life. Wow, 介绍一下他的后摆腿
下了班以后，业余时间，我们会免费的让他到武馆里边去锻炼，我们会给他一些小小的奖励，鼓励他继续下去，让他们放下手机，健康的去过一天。他每个人都可以管理自己，这是很难的，所以这个我觉得能影响，他们也会改变。这些都是永春的技法，你看，你看，看来这些技术还是要经过这个实战。那肯定了，你光练套路怎么行呢？另外这个是速度跟反应嘛，你看他打过来，你看。Lu Yanming has a unique way of teaching. He integrates the essence of traditional martial arts and the principles and training methods of modern combat sports. Everything needs to be practical, standardized, and scientific. 我在武术当中坚持下来的一种精神，永不言败，永不放弃。因为当你面对艰苦的时候，主动的去接受辛苦的挑战。经过习武锻炼的人呢，他不找理由，他只是解决问题。你每天都还敢去坚持训练的话，你看看你已经成长。收获更多的是，你跟他一起练的时候，因为他们是年轻人，他会给你很阳光、很朝气。我觉得我现在跟他们一样，也是那么年轻，所以我一上了拳台，我就会把自己的年龄给忘了。所以这就是一种心态。我觉得收获最健康的心态、最年轻的心态，那是无价的。Mutual facilitation between business and martial arts. Has become the motto of Lu Yan Ming's company. Lu Yan Ming hopes that traditional martial arts will influence those around him. The crew's three-year search has not to date found any legendary heroes or invincible masters. What they have found are ordinary people. They come from all walks of life, in cities, towns and villages. The Martial Arts Fellowship is right there, hiding in plain sight, in a world without secrets.